Manson. Face to face with Manson. You're all my children. With the new Helter Skelter coming to TV, it's the footage you haven't seen of a madman behind bars. I'm the king, man. Do you understand that? Day one, we've seen it all. But if I have to, I do. The words of a killer from behind prison walls, as Manson's murderous rampage is depicted in a brand new Helter Skelter. You know how many people have died since Sharon Tate died? That's next in The Insider. He is the most notorious murderer of all. Now, as the new Helter Skelter comes to TV, we have the Manson interview you haven't seen. You're all Manson. You're all my children. For nearly 35 years, his name has been synonymous with evil. His so-called family was responsible for at least seven brutal murders. But Charles Manson has shown no remorse. As far as killing anybody, I kill anybody I want every time I get the chance, if I feel like that's what I want to do. This interview took place in 1991 at the California State Prison in Corcoran. Manson first faced incarceration back in the 1940s and has spent most of his life behind bars. I had to go through some changes, so I shot a man. I don't like shooting people. I don't like hurting people. But if I have to, I do. Manson returns to the news thanks to Helter Skelter, a new CBS TV movie airing May 16th. It's the second television version of the book by Vincent Bugliosi, who prosecuted Manson and his young followers. I care less what other people think of me. I care what I think of me. I'm the king, man. Do you understand that? You want to blame me for what they did? For mind control? Uh, it's kind of stupid, actually. They did what they did. It's not my responsibility. Manson, as he has done since his capture, placed blame not on himself, but on his followers' own families. Your children came to me. I didn't come to them. They come to me weak without a father. They come to me weak without truth, and they ask me, can I stay with you? I got no place to stay. Baby, won't you light my fire? Once Baby, scheduled for execution, his sentence was commuted to life when California abolished the death penalty. During 33 years of incarceration, he has developed his own bizarre philosophy, a mix of rants and weird vocalizations. I live on another level, man. Your whole lives have become entertainment, and you've lost sight of reality, man. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, you don't get away with nothing, man. But despite his strange and mad behavior, he knows exactly why he is where he is. It's in my mind, uh, and for me, forever, for always. Just don't ever expect him to say he regrets the murderous rampage that he ordered. Why should I think about Sharon Tate today? Do you know how many people have died since Sharon Tate died? Manson has been denied parole 10 times. He's eligible again in 2007. Tomorrow on E.T., more Manson. I will do just about anything that my scheming, conniving mind can scheme and connive, I will do. As he nears his 70th birthday, will he ever get out? You're the enemy out there. You're the enemy. Then you... I will do just about anything that my scheming, conniving mind can scheme and connive, I will do. The shocking new scenes from the Manson TV movie and more footage you've never seen from our chilling jailhouse interview. You're the enemy. You did good. <laughs> As we go behind bars with the madman himself. And I'm a grouchy, lugubrious, lascivious dog. I'm no good at all. That's coming up in the Entertainment Tonight Insider. Manson. Crime to me is not by the same definition as crime to you. And it's Helter Skelter again in a new TV movie. But I know the truth. I am not afraid to face it. I'm not afraid to inflict it. Foolish people into committing mass murder. And now, as a new movie about his crimes comes to TV, we go inside the prison for the lost Manson interview. I'm a mean old man. I'm a grouchy, lugubrious, lascivious dog. I'm no good at all. I'm just rotten. I'm terrible. Sometimes, in his madness, he can seem a bit funny, but there is nothing humorous about Charles Manson. I am not obligated to stop anyone from committing a crime, because crime to me is not by the same definition as crime to you. On Sunday, May 16th, Manson returns in Helter Skelter. The Insider has an exclusive first look at this three-hour movie airing on CBS.
But I know the truth. But I am not afraid to face it. I'm not afraid to inflict it. Tell me what happened in those houses. It's time for you to kill some babies. There's so much mystery. People want to know really what, what this man uh, was made of. Jeremy Davies plays this evil sorcerer in the production based on the writings of Manson case prosecutor Vincent Bugliosi. This movie accurately depicts Charles Manson for who he is, a brutal mass murderer. I will do just about anything that my scheming, conniving mind can scheme and connive, I will do. There's $5,000 in here. It's the first time I ever stole anything, and I did it for you. And you did good. <laughs> I don't live like you. I don't think like you, man. I'm everywhere. I'm everything. I'm nothing. I'm the wind. I'm a bug. I, I love trees. I like animals, you know? People, I don't get along too well with people. Still, he was able to convince several lost young people to join his family. All of them children that you look at and call bad, they gave their whole self for what we were doing. Your children, who you threw away, they came to me. When do I meet Charlie? I don't know. He'll find you. So what are you looking for, a woman? Jesus, maybe. Maybe. In August 1969, he sent those young people out to kill. Just two years earlier, after completing a previous prison sentence, Manson asked if he could stay behind bars. But his stint was over, the request was turned down, and he was freed. You know who your enemy is? You're the enemy. You sit there fat, sloppy, you watch your TV, and you kick back and you judge everybody as being wrong and bad, but you. And there is more coming up this weekend on Entertainment Tonight, The Diary of a Madman. You're in the graveyard. You're all walking dead people, and you don't even know it. This is the mastermind behind the gruesome murders of pregnant actress Sharon Tate and at least six others in the summer of 1969. And in the years that have followed, Charles Manson's legacy has only grown. Now, with a new TV movie based on the book Helter Skelter set to air later this month, we have uncovered a rare jailhouse interview with the unrepentant killer. You're all Manson. You're all my children. For nearly 35 years, his name has been synonymous with evil. His so-called family was responsible for at least seven brutal murders. But Charles Manson has shown no remorse. As far as killing anybody, I kill anybody I want every time I get the chance, if I feel like that's what I want to do. You're in the graveyard. You're all walking dead people, and you don't even know it. This interview took place in 1991 at the California State Prison in Corcoran. Manson first faced incarceration back in the 1940s and has spent most of his life behind bars. I had to go through some changes, so I shot a man. I don't like shooting people. I don't like hurting people. But if I have to, I do. Manson returns to the news thanks to Helter Skelter, a new CBS TV movie airing May 16th. It is the second television version of the book by Vincent Bugliosi, who prosecuted Manson and his young followers. You are all under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. This movie accurately depicts Charles Manson for who he is. He's just a very evil, sophisticated con man, a brutal mass murderer. Tell me what happened in those houses. It's time for you to kill some babies. I care less what other people think of me. I care what I think of me. I'm the king, man. Do you understand that? I will do just about anything that my scheming, conniving mind can scheme and connive, I will do. Interviews like this one helped Jeremy Davies, who plays Manson, prepare for the role. What really helped me kind of begin to lock into um, something that I thought was approaching something authentic was I took every interview that he ever did on, on video or on tape and I transcribed it by hand. I became so familiar with everything he said. But I know the truth, but I am not afraid to face it. I'm not afraid to inflict it. His murderous ban included several lost young women who found family with Manson during that freewheeling era. Patricia Krenwin, campfire girl, member of the Audubon Society. Next, what's sports editor for his high school yearbook. Leslie Van Houten, treasurer of her high school, homecoming princess, sang in the church choir. How do these kids end up stabbing people 169 times? Your children came to me. I didn't come to them. 
They come to me weak without a father. They come to me weak without truth, and they ask me, can I stay with you? I got no place to stay. Your children, who you threw away, they came to me. When do I meet Charlie? I don't know. He'll find you. So what are you looking for, a woman? Jesus, maybe? Maybe. It's pretty obvious what he was trying to do. He was trying to break down their ego and their pride. I am not obligated to stop anyone from committing a crime because crime to me is not by the same definition as crime to you. There's $5,000 in here. It's the first time I ever stole anything, and I did it for you. And you did good. <laughs> Playing family member Linda Kasabian is Cleo Duvall. And he used drugs and he used sex and to just totally, you know, put someone through like the sexual ringer it kind of like breaks them in a way and unfortunately these kids that were that were kind of cast away found him and so that's why you have to love your children otherwise they might go looking for it somewhere else we take care of each other you think i don't know what it feels like to be looked through to be thrown away i feel like you can see inside me and this is what scares people is he he had to be very capable of loving I'm a mean old man. I'm a grouchy, lugubrious, lascivious dog. I'm no good at all. I'm just rotten. I'm terrible. There's so much mystery. People want to know really what, what this man uh, was made of and why, why so many people were influenced by him. Manson, as he has done since his capture, placed blame not on himself, but on his followers' own families. You want to blame me for what they did, for mind control? Uh, it's kind of stupid, actually. They did what they did. It's not my responsibility. But Manson's own family played a role in his conviction. Linda Kasabian turned prosecution witness in return for immunity. But Susan Atkins, played by Marguerite Moreau, bragged about the murders while in jail for another offense. She was the kind of girl that was so excited about it. And she told everybody what they did, and that's how they ended up getting prosecuted by Vincent. Well, this court is on trial. The court is out of order. They told you in L.A. that was Charles Older's courtroom. It wasn't Charles Older's courtroom. It was my courtroom. He had the judge's robe on, but I was the judge. <laughs> Baby, won't you light my fire? Once scheduled for execution, his sentence was commuted to life when California abolished the death penalty. During his 33 years of incarceration, he has developed his own bizarre philosophy, a mix of rants and weird vocalizations. I live on another level, man. Your whole lives have become entertainment, and you've lost sight of reality, man. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, you don't get away with nothing, man. But despite his strange and mad behavior, he knows exactly why he is where he is. It's in my mind uh, and for me, forever, for always. Just don't ever expect him to say he regrets the murderous rampage that he ordered. Why should I think about Sharon Tate today? Do you know how many people have died since Sharon Tate died? That is chilling. And Charles Manson is not done yet. We have more from that jailhouse interview coming up later. I love trees. I like animals, you know? People, I don't get along too well with people. Also coming up... You're the enemy. The jailhouse rantings of... ...after being put behind bars, Charles Manson continues to receive so much mail, he may rank as America's most infamous prison inmate. Well, now, more from the rare jailhouse interview with America's most notorious murderer. I don't live like you. I don't think like you. I'm everywhere. I'm everything. I'm nothing. I'm the wind. I'm a bug. I keep a gun in my boot and a knife in my pocket, and I do what I want. I'm free, pretty much. I do what I do. I ride a motorcycle, and I play a guitar, and my road is mine. That road took Charles Manson to prison, where he has spent the last 33 years for his role in those infamous L.A. murders of August 1969. I got my own trip, even though I'm handcuffed in it right now, which it doesn't look too cool. His virtual lifetime behind bars began in 1948. You were raised up in a society full of rules and regulations. I was raised up in the penitentiary playing handball and, and ducking knives, man. I'm really dumb. You wouldn't believe how stupid I am. I'm a hillbilly. You know everything. There's nothing to be curious about. You think you have a mind? 
There's no such thing as I have a mind. The mind belongs to God. God is the mind. I still believe in God. <laughs> That's how stupid I am. You know, you have to be stupid to believe in God, man. Two years before the murder spree, Manson had completed another prison sentence, and he asked if he could remain behind bars. His request was denied, and he went to San Francisco. Just in time for the summer of love, he began to form his family. All of them children that you look at and call bad, they gave their whole self for what we were doing. There was still some more starting tomorrow. Bruce Allen. Manson and his family are chronicled in Helter Skelter, next Sunday CBS TV movie starring Jeremy Davies. What frightens people, you know, again, is that they recognize that, you know, he is one of us. He knows how to play the game. The movie is based on the book by Manson's own prosecutor, Vincent Bugliosi. Manson, he says, has more sympathizers than ever. I think it's inherently of some concern that a considerable number of young American kids look up to a demonic figure, a mass murderer like Charles Manson. I'm not in the business of judging people, man. Not really, you know. I'm not in the business of blaming or condemning uh, or criticizing or going through all that insanity. I live in the world of right now, what is? I'm alive. I love trees. I like animals, you know. People, I don't get along too well with people. I Back see. in 1991, in this interview, Manson said he spends a lot of his time singing. Crow God, go out there and get stoned and on a highway. Rolling down on my way, I'll be home soon. Monday on Entertainment Tonight, we'll hear more from the Manson interview. He turned 70 in November, and age hasn't seemed to diminish his anger. You've got to know your enemy. You know who your enemy is? You're the enemy out there. Wow. Despite the brutal nature of his crimes, believe it or not, Manson gets a parole hearing every few years. But at his most recent hearing in 2002, he refused to show up because prison officials insisted he wear handcuffs. I'll take care. So long. Smoke my grass and play my music. I wasn't uh, headed out for any particular reason, cause, excuse, or purpose for anything. Hollywood's been afraid since it began. Hollywood knows Hollywood. Anybody that knows the garbage cans in the alley understands Hollywood. I told you, 1969, surrender, submit, give it up. How in the hell could I send somebody here? You go kill the president of the United States. You do it now. Get in the house, get out of the yard. Stay away from the car, we're not going to Harvard Square. Oh my God. What is it? I think I know when he's coming back. Mondays, 9 p.m., 8 p.m.